good, everybody? Welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we have another episode of WWE Action Figure Appointment for today. We got a lot of stuff going on. I couldn't even fit everybody in Dr. Whitekiss's office right here, as you guys can see. Got a lot of stuff going on. I wasn't even going to make it a, an appointment episode. I was going to do, like, just a random customizing video with some other stuff plugged into it, but then I thought, eh... And then I would have done a surgery video, but the next episode of WWE Action Figure Surgery is episode 50, and I want that to be super special. So stay tuned for ep episode 50 of Action Figure Surgery. It should be a really big episode. I'll probably do like a lot of stuff on there and do a lot of crazy fix-ups and stuff like that. But here today on appointment, we got a lot of stuff going on, tons of stuff going on. New MDT Custom Wrestler, trying to figure out what body I want to put on there, and I'm going to need your guys' help to figure that out. But on top of that, we got some cool switches and swappages and some stuff to get through, and I think you guys will be pretty impressed with the fix-ups and how we do them. Before we dive into the work itself, we do have to go through what we're going to be doing here today on Action Figure Appointment. So, let's go ahead and conduct that. Now, first of all, you probably are already eyeing the Fiend. Like, what are you finally going to fix up about this Fiend figure? You already fixed up the hair. Well, today, Brad, I'm going to take these Sting boots down here, and I'm going to switch it out right here. So, shout out to my boy Steinsenberg Customs, Cody. He did this fix-up on Instagram. Really genius fix-up. Take the Sting boots, like the covers right here, here where the buckles are. Remove this from the calf, remove this part from the foot, and that way you'll have the bottom of the boot with the red details over here. So it'll look like he has the boot covers on, much like the Fiend wore. And I thought that was pretty genius. So I'm going to do that here today. I think that'll fix up the Fiend a little bit, give it a little bit more accuracy to the figure. And I think, oh my god in heaven, embarrassment. Not only are we going to be doing the Fiend fix up, guys, we are going to be conducting an Elite Tony Knees. We're going to be making an Elite Tony Knees. We're going to convert this basic into an Elite. And a huge shout out to my my man Mike the Wrestling Collector for this fix up idea. I am going to be using this Finn Balor, this Top Talents Finn Balor. Now at the end of the video, he won't be fully ready because he is still going to have the Balor Club logos and stuff on him but he will look a lot better than he does right now. We're going to switch out the head sculpt. We're going to switch out the arms or the upper arms with these John Cena biceps and we're going to put the Finn Balor lower arms onto the John Cena biceps to give him the bigger arms because Tony Nese is absolutely jacked so that's what we're going to be doing right there. Converting this basic into an elite figure should be a relatively simple thing to do. I'm going to showcase my idea on what to do for the custom championship for the custom figure of the month. And then I have this custom superstar using this head sculpt right here. We're going to put this on a few different bodies and we're going to find out which body works best and I'm going to need your guys help. We're going to decide on whether the suit body with Vince McMahon, this Finn Balor Elite 74 body or the Drew McIntyre body. So we're going to sort through those, see what we like, see what looks the best for this head, head sculpt and I'll tell you guys my personal favorite when we get there. We also have this Kurt Angle. Now, I don't know if we're going to be able to do this today. I'm not sure if these lower legs are the ones that are accurate, but I feel like putting these lower legs and boots from this custom that I got from BEW so long ago would look super sick on this body right here, and I'm not sure how well that's going to look. Or I know it'll look fire. I just don't know how well these legs are going to fit onto this body, and we'll just have to see about that when we cross that bridge. But I also want to do that fix up at one point. If we don't get it here today, we'll do it on action figure surgery. I I honestly don't know why the Fiend's body is back here. I think I was going to show off what Mattel sent me. I guess I'll, I'll save that for a different video, but I want to show you guys the figure that Mattel sent me to replace this Fiend. And then the final switch that we're going to be doing is Braun Strowman. Another fix-up I got from my boy Mike the Wrestling Collector. He had a hack on Instagram where he took the baby hands from his Strowman and replaced them with Lars Sullivan basic hands, and they look so much better on the figure, and I think it's a really cool fix-up that we need to get into as well. So we're going to fix the hands of our Strowman, show off the MDT Custom Superstar, possibly switch out the Kurt Angle lower legs, make a Tony Nese Elite, fix the Bray Wyatt Fiend boots, and that's what we're going to, as well as show off the Custom Championship idea that I had for the uh, the MDT Custom Championship of the month, or the Custom Fix-Up Champion. What the hell am I saying? The MDT Custom Championship of the month. With that being said, guys, let's go ahead and dive into all the swippages and swappages that we're going to be doing here today with the appointment itself. Alright guys, so for my custom championship idea, pulling it up right here, you will see that what I plan on doing for this, now you guys remember a few, I feel like it was like last week sometime or two weeks ago or so, I said that I wanted to do like a custom championship belt to put on the custom of the month. So every custom that I make, every fix up that I make, it would go into like a little competition, right? It would go into all of the customs versus each other and the custom of the month would be the champion. The next month, whatever customs I made that month would then compete with the champion and if it ended up being better than that custom, 
it would win a custom championship belt and it would be like the MDT custom championship rewarded to the best custom from MDT every month so the idea that I had was take the rated R spinner championship pop out the middle plate right here and what you can do with this if you guys didn't know you guys can see this spins by itself all you gotta do is pop off this little back portion right here you can pop this off and when you pop this off the center plate actually removes so you can actually take a little circle piece of paper and you can draw on it and then put this in here and then put this in here so you can pretty much make your own custom spinner middle part of the belt so why not make a custom piece that goes in the middle for whoever the champion is like if it's Finn Balor I can make a custom Finn Balor championship or something like that make like the middle plate you know Finn Balor themed or or Seth Rollins themed or whoever ends up being the champion so I thought that was a pretty genius idea I got that idea from Burnout Inc Chase from Burnout Inc he did that a while back with his championship I thought that was so awesome it was a long time ago that he did that but I always thought that championship was super cool it was like the N7 championship or something like that and he did a sick ass job doing that with CM Punk and stuff that was my thinking behind the piece you know and then my other idea was just taking the Intercontinental Championship and doing something with it but these are my two options right now let me know what you guys think of that down in the comment section below but let's shut the hell up and conduct some football surgery now for our first order of business I guess I can go ahead and knock out Bray Wyatt and while I'm knocking out Bray Wyatt I think I may go ahead and heat up the Tony Nese arms because I know that's going to be a hobo to do so I'm probably going to go ahead and heat up the Tony Nese arms of the Finn Balor that way we can go ahead and switch that out that way we don't have any uh you know extra steps that we want to conduct here but I want to make sure we get enough heat applied to everything right here because you know we got to get the meat and potatoes of everything so let's go ahead and hit it All right, guys, here we go. Let's see what we can get going right here. I'm actually really afraid because uh, that was a long-ass time because I was trying to type something out for a second. But let's go ahead and pop off the arms here for the Finn Balor. And while we're at it, we might can pop off the head sculpt. Yes, we did get the head sculpt. You guys remember way back on surgery when I almost snapped that neck in half? That about made me upset, I can tell you that. But I don't know if we're going to be able to get this god in heaven. That shit sucks, man. We'll just have to heat it up on a different segment of the video here. But lower forearms and biceps and stuff like that are typically kind of difficult to do, especially when you're trying to get it on camera and stuff like that. Sometimes they don't want to pop off. Popping them off isn't as hard as actually getting them to uh, go back on. So getting these Finn Balor lower arms onto the John Cena biceps is going to be much more difficult than actually, uh, you know, getting them off of the Finn Balor biceps. Like, this arm isn't going to work here, but maybe we can get this onto here. I highly doubt it. Like, if this works right here, I'll be super shocked. Nasty farticles. Uh, uh. Yeah, I didn't expect that to work. You piece of shit. Alright, we'll just have to reheat that back up, but we did get a, an extra step. You know, we removed the Finn Balor head. Here's our base for the Tony Nese, which we'll get into, but next up is the Bray Wyatt boots. Now, getting that one boot on there, there, getting that off of there. Again, we're just wanting the feet off of this Fiend figure. Right now, I want you guys to comment down below what you guys think. What figure do you think Mattel sent me for the uh, the Bray Wyatt being messed up? You guys remember my shoulder on my one Fiend figure got messed up? What do you guys think that Mattel sent me to, uh, you know, make up for that, that Fiend figure being jacked up? It is a newer figure. I will say it's from the last three Elite series. So if you guys can get that. So you guys think it was Elite 75, Elite 75 or Elite 77. Let me know down in the comment section below. All right, there's the one boot right there, putting this on the left foot. If we can get this on here, Christ. Going back over here, I did not get that boot onto the uh, other one. I did not. I got the foot on there. Could not get the boot to connect to the calf. So, I mean, I am just freaking trash. God in heaven, get on here, you ho. Who's on there now, ho? All right, so pushing this in here. God in heaven, why won't this go in the calf? All right, we finally got it. Jesus Christ in heaven. We'll take a closer look at that at the end of the video. Now, for our next bit of surgery, we have the terrible Bray Wyatt Fiend. We got some boot parts laying around. We got our Finn Balor parts laying around. What we're going to do is we're going to get all of our ish over here to the side. And I guess the next thing we can do is 
heat up the Tony Nese head sculpt because we already did the arms. So we may, nah, I don't know, Brad. Let's let's try to focus here. Let's get ourselves focused here. Um, we got to heat up the Tony Nese head, of course. But on top of that, we do need to reheat up the arms because we got to get the uh, the necessary switches here, like with the lower arms of the fin ballast. So we got to make sure that all of this is heated up. But on top of that, we also need to heat up the Braun Strowman, uh, or we don't have to heat up the Braun Strowman hands because the hands just pop out, right? So we don't have to worry about that. But we do need to get the Lars Sullivan hands heated up, and so we'll probably just do that right now. All right, I think we're gonna be okay. I think we're gonna be okay. We're not gonna do Kurt Angle today, because Kurt Angle can suck off. We'll add him to action figure surgery, and we're just gonna get these switches in here, because you guys know we try to get action figure appointment in 10 to 12 minutes. It usually goes three or four minutes over that, but maybe we'll, we'll make it here today. All right, guys, let's see what we got going on here. The Lars Sullivan hand. You know what? Forget Lars Sullivan. We got to get this head sculpt off, and we got to get... All right, let's get this popped onto here, and then we will dive right into our biceps. God in heaven, I freaking hate that neck peg gapage right there. It does look better, though, with the Tony Nese head sculpt on it, I guess because it goes a little bit lower. But let's see if we can get this bicep peg through here because you guys know that this can be a hoe. All right, we got that. So the right arm is good to go with Tony Nese, pushing that up in there. And now all we got to do is get this lower arm from Finn Balor onto the John Cena bicep. And I'll put that in the Finn Balor bag right there because I got bags dedicated to certain guys. Would you guys be interested in seeing all of my fodder baggies dedicated to each guy? My thumbs up on fire. Holy Christ on a bike. All right, we got it over the hole. Now we just got to push it through. Jesus in heaven and Lord and God. All right, I can't get the damn thing, so just F it. I'll just show it to you at the end because that's pissing me off. Now, as far as the Lars Sullivan hands go, you just slide these out like so. And now we're just going to go over to the Braun Strowman and do the same exact thing because you guys already know. These hands are already easy to pop out. And he said they just slide up in there, but we'll see about that. May have to wait till they cool off. Yeah, I'll probably have to wait till they cool off a little bit, but... While we wait on that, we are going to move on to my custom superstar, and you guys will see everything at the end, so don't worry about that. We'll show everything what it looks like at the end, but this is what I was talking about with my custom superstar. I was trying to figure out what body I wanted to go on this. Now, here we go. You got the Finn Balor body, you got the Vince McMahon Elite 70 body, and you have the Drew McIntyre body. Now, I want you guys to look at this and see exactly which one you think looks the best. So, you guys remember the Super Cena figure? I have this Superman head sculpt that came off of that figure. Well, I had it, and I was playing around with it, and I was like, oh my god, and I made it, like, interchangeable. I customized it a little bit so that it'd be interchangeable. So, you can put it on different bodies, and I was trying to figure out which one looked best. So, here's option A. You got the Finn Balor body right there. We could do, like, some different trunks on there, some knee pads, some kick pads, probably different arms in there. I feel like bigger arms would probably look a little bit better, but there goes the Superman head sculpt on the body right here. Next up, we have the Drew McIntyre body, and this one looks okay. You guys can let me know if you like this one or the Finn Balor one better, but here is the Drew McIntyre body right there, so it kind of fits probably a better Superman, but I'm not trying to make a Superman or a Clark Kent. I'm just trying to make a custom superstar using this head sculpt because I think it looks pretty badass, so there is that head sculpt on that body. I think that looks pretty badass. And then the last option is the Elite 70 Vince McMahon. Now, this one's my personal favorite. I think it just looks so badass with him in suit right here. Like, he just looks like an authority figure, and I feel like I want him to be an authority figure on MDT television. Look at that right there. He just looks like a GM. Look at him. He just bosses kids around, and he could even wrestle if he had to, if he gotten involved in a storyline or something. So there you go. There is our Clark Kent Superman custom figure, but I don't know if I... Again, I don't want him to be Superman or Clark Kent. I just want him to be a custom guy and so let me know down below guys which one he looks better in and you could do this you could have this as his suited body and this as his wrestling body that's totally something we could do and that's probably what it looks like that's the direction we're headed in because look the heights are pretty much the same uh the builds are pretty much the same so that probably is what we'll end up doing with it but i mean you could do it like this too like this looks like this guy in a suit too just depends on what lower legs you put on it and stuff like that i don't know you guys let me know down in the comment section below what you guys think of it but there is that but now that we've done that guys let's take a look at everything we've done here today on wwe action figure appointment all right guys so here's everything we did on wwe action figure appointment episode whatever the hell this is but you guys can see pretty successful day of appointment i will say i still can't get this damn arm and this tony niece and i swear to god i'm about to cut my ear brows off 
ear brows. You can see there, the Tony Nese looks great. Again, huge shout out to my boy Mike, the wrestling collector, for the idea on the fix up. So it looks super fire. I think it looks absolutely fantastic there. Biceps look good. Head looks good. Tony Nese looking super hot, fire, nasty. Next up, we have the custom superstar. Again, it's just a Superman head on a Vince McMahon body, but I like it a lot. Let me know of a cool name. I'll think of something, but there he is. I definitely want to use him in the pick fed in some capacity, whether it be NXT or the main roster, whatever the hell we're doing. I definitely want to use this guy, and I'm making a damn statement right now, Brad. I'm getting that shit up by next weekend, or at least the end of next week. I gotta do it, man. I gotta get it done, and it's gonna be worth the wait. We just gotta get there. We'll get there, but next up, guys, we do have the Fiend right here, and I think this looks excellent. A new, another shout out to my man, Steisenberg Customs for the idea. I think that looks awesome. Looks just like it did, or it looks similar. Very, very similar, and I'll pull up an image or something on the screen so you guys can compare the two there, but I like the way this looks. I like it, everything like that. I like the whiteness of the boots and everything. Fiend is looking at mo and mo better as we keep going. And then finally, we have the Monster Among Men, Jan Strowman, the Strowman Express. Now, I will say the hands are a little loose, you know, but maybe once they, maybe it's because they were heated up. But yeah, they're not, they're not too bad. I love these hands on this brawn, though. Huge shout out to Mike again for the idea on this because that looks so much better. God in heaven, the baby hands just look terrible now when you compare it to this. This looks so much better. So Lars Sullivan hands on the Braun Strowman Elite is how you fix that. But that pretty much does it for all of our fix-ups here today on WWE Action Figure Appointment. Let me know what you guys think of the custom superstar, these fix-ups, the custom MDT Championship with the rated R spinner. We can switch that out. Also, let me know what we can do for WWE Action Figure Surgery Episode 50. I need some ideas down in the comment section below. That is going to do it for today's video, guys. Thank you so very much for watching. Enjoy your weekend. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at my damn toys. We got to get the Twitter game up, man. Need more Twitter following. Download Twitter, get on Twitter, and tweet back and forth with me on Twitter as we watch live shows. I love doing that with you guys. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.